So being alone has been a very hard thing for me. When I've had a busy week and my kids have consumed my time, I cherish my alone time. And then there are times when my kids are at their dad's and I have too much alone time. As an extrovert, Enneagram 7, and social butterfly, I need people in my life. I just prefer 80% of my time being around people and 20% being alone. The problem is we can't always control those percentages, especially with quarantining. And sometimes they lean heavily one way or the other. And for myself, when it leans more towards being alone, I generally get sad. And as a single 44-year-old woman who has not been alone her entire life, being alone feels very sad and depressing and it feels wrong. I find that I cry and sulk a lot because there's a big difference in wanting to be alone than not having a choice with being alone. Generally, I'm eager to self-improve, but this area I have begrudgingly read about how to enjoy being alone, and I have faced my beliefs about why it felt wrong and why I felt unlovable. I had to change my perspective on loneliness. The hardest times for me are when I wake up alone and I go to bed alone. Being held is probably one of the most wonderful, magical feelings in the world for me. And when I don't have it, I think I grieve. So they say to date yourself, to cook yourself a great meal, to take yourself on a hike, to take yourself to the movies, to get a hobby. So I'm doing all these things. Sometimes I take myself to dinner alone and I weep the entire time. It's not my finest hour. But I gotta tell you, it's getting easier. I have to, had to change my inner dialogue and my thoughts have changed from I'm lonely to I get to do whatever the fuck I want to do right now. Dr. Shafali has given me the most insightful tips on how to enjoy alone time. And I really want to change this about myself because not wanting to be alone can lead to a life of codependency and being in relationships you don't want to be in. I want to feel like I am my most valuable companion and my most loyal friend, who I have the best conversations with. I want to honor my own solitude and befriend my own soul, and I'm working on this daily. And as far as the cuddling goes, I have two dogs and 12 pillows that I sleep with every night. It's not the same, but I'm heading in the right direction.